Hey, what's up, guys? It's Side the Big Red here, and I'm back again, bringing you guys into the top ten. I'm gonna be trying doing this um, maybe twice a week, Monday and Friday, um, doing every single Call of Duty from Modern Warfare up to the top ten best guns. So, um, hopefully, you guys enjoy, and we're gonna kick this off here again, like the World at War top ten with the 1911, and um, I'm putting it in again. Because it is a classic, but in this game it is also a very reliable, very reliable pistol. Uh, so you can see there, only took about two or three shots. Uh, but the downside about that is that it's only a seven round mag. But the fact that it's a two to three shot pistol means that it's very reliable. So if you run out of ammo in your primary, you can just go ahead and pull this out and it acts like a primary. All right, now coming in here at number nine is the M4A1, and I think this is one of the most reliable assault rifles besides the M16 and AK. I think this can compete very well with them. Um, I, the only problem I would say is the sidestepping isn't very high, and the um, the fire rate is incredibly high, and the lack of ammo sucks. But this gun is uh, it's a decently Decently powerful assault rifle. Um, it's better for long range than medium range and close range, but uh, it's a very good, reliable assault rifle. So had to come in here in the top ten. <laughs> All right, and here at number eight, I know some of you are going to be surprised by this, but this is the W1200. Now, actually, I like this a lot more than I used to back when I played COD 4 when it first came out before. It was remastered. I hated it. Thought it sucked. But I, I guess it's the um, the better hit detection or something in Modern Warfare Remastered. But the gun just kicks ass now. Um, very, very good for close range, obviously, since it's a shotgun. But its range actually isn't that bad. And it gets you pretty often a consistent, um, consistent one-shot. The only problem is that it's a pump. So you have to wait for your character to... to Rechamber the uh, the round, but other than that, it's a very reliable uh, shotgun, and I would definitely suggest using it. Okay, now I know a lot of you are gonna get really mad at me for this for putting this in here. I believe this is number six, um, but I have to put the Deagle here at number six because there's so many other guns that are better than it, and I think this is the best spot for it. Um, the Deagle, as everyone who plays this game should know, is the strongest pistol and one of the strongest guns in the game um, can be can be a one shot, usually a two two to three shot. But the big downside about it is the recoil. And actually, I think they made this more like the Modern Warfare Three Deagle, and is that you know it just kicks up like fucking crazy, and your character can't handle it. But the damage is just what makes it so. Um, so prevalent within the game is that the fact that you can get off two rounds and kill someone and uh, has the most unique sound in the game besides the Barrett. Alright, coming in here at number 5 we have the R700. Now, I know a lot of you think that this should be lower compared to the Deagle, but I honestly think it should be higher, and that kid sucked. I should have died. But, um, the R700 is my most reliable sniper when I do snipe. Um, if you don't, like in this game, if you don't have stopping power, it doesn't get one shots very often, but it's, I think it's the best. I think it's the best. Everyone goes for the M40, but I think this one's better. Um, has more damage. I think it has better accuracy as well, but uh, yeah, gotta, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alright, I apologize. I realize I'm stupid. Um, the AK-74U here is number 5. Uh, I just realized I was miscounting. This is number 5, R700 is number 6, and the Deagle is number 7. But, that being said, the AK-74 is a incredibly powerful submachine gun. Um, it outperforms, I think, every other submachine gun in its class. And I believe it also has the same wall penetration as an assault rifle compared to every other. So, this had to be here at number 5. A very hard-hitting, um, high recoil, but very hard-hitting, um, 
SMG that acts like a assault rifle. So here at number five, I didn't think that there'd be any other spot for it. Coming in here at number four, we have the AK-47, which is basically the 74U, but as an assault rifle. So the range is obviously going to be better, but I think they both perform the same way. And uh, the only reason why I put it here at number four is for the extra range. Um, as you can see there, the range is very good. Um, rate of fire, I think, is decent. Uh, the ammo, like the carrying capacity that you get in the, this game is just so low. I wish you had um, more ammo. But uh, it doesn't really take much for you to take a person down. So it's a very reliable assault rifle. Can compete very well with the M16. All right, and here we are into the top three. Here we have the Barrett 50 cal, and uh, this shouldn't be a surprise to you guys. This this gun's a beast. Um, I perform. I think I perform either just uh, just a little bit better than the R700 with this. I think I have a better KD and a better accuracy with this. But I, like I said, I prefer the R700. But the Barrett is my second choice and the second go-to gun that I use for this game. Just because um, it's rate of fire and it's damage. This thing, you don't even need stopping power and you're going to get one shot. You're going to get one shots. And the, the collaterals that you can get on this, is, it's just, it's stupid. It's, it's one of the best guns to use if you're going to snipe, if not the best. So had to come in here at number three. Here at number two, we have the legendary M16. The melt machine itself. A lot of you are probably asking why this isn't number one, but you'll see what is number one. Um, the M16, like I said, it's a melt machine. Have steady aim or put deep impact and stopping power. You're just, th that's it. That's it. The, they're done. Uh, as you can see there, you don't even need to be aiming down the sights. You can just hip fire and you're going to get those one shots. This thing is just absolutely ridiculous. It's basically a pocket sniper. Um, Center speed, reload time, everything. Damage, just, it, it's it's a reliable gun, and I hate when people use it. So, but it had to come in here at number two. All right, and at the number one spot, we have none other but the M40 itself. The M40 is the go-to sniper for every single sniper in this game. I don't care if you say it's not. It is. The majority of the professional snipers back when professional sniping was a thing use this is they people say it's the most reliable um i know a lot of people choose it over the r700 because it has one extra round in it but i don't know you can't you can't go wrong with the m40 the m40 is a classic um excuse me it's a classic and uh there, I, there really isn't anything else that needs to be said for it well Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, a like would highly be or would be highly appreciated. Uh, a comment and a subscribe would be appreciated as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day.